and we're joined by Mayor Colin Bazran. If I recall correctly, you were criticized during the election campaign for being the mayor that that let Costco go to West Kelowna. Uh, well, yes, there were, I guess, people uh, running against me and uh, for mayor and, and others who uh, made this Costco issue um, basically their only platform agenda. And um, what my answer was then was, look it, um, we would like to be able to keep Costco here if we can. And that uh, I have instructed staff to work with uh, people from Costco to do everything they can to explore different sites in our community. And hopefully uh, Costco would find a, a site that would be suitable for their needs. And hopefully they'll reinvest in our community. And uh, so here we are after I've continually said that, that uh, really uh, thankful and fortunate that Costco has uh, submitted an application for a, uh, a new uh, store here in our community. And so now we'll, uh, we'll have to see where that goes. And were you actively involved in uh, working towards finding a, you know, in Kelowna solution for Costco's need for more space? So there were some meetings that I was directly involved uh, with city staff and Costco officials, uh, but uh, for the most part, this was done uh, staff to staff. Okay. And, uh, and so I, I, of course, yeah, I gave the high level direction along with council to our staff to continue to uh, explore options with Costco because ultimately we'd like to see them uh, reinvest in our community. And uh, so as a result of all of that hard work by our staff and Costco officials, here we are. So I think a lot of people are pretty happy about that. It's amazing how many people really care a lot about where Costco winds up. But hang on a minute here. Right. It's not zoned correctly for a Costco. It has to go through that process. Sure. So yeah, this isn't by uh, any means a, a done deal per se. There's still a lot of steps that need to take place. Uh, firstly, the property needs to be rezoned. Um, and that would require a, a public hearing, so we will be able to uh, hear what the public's thoughts are on that. Uh, and then the next step would be a development permit, and if uh, the development permit requires any variances, a second public hearing would need to be held. Uh, so there are a number of steps, which are all standard operating procedure, uh, that this application needs to go through. So just a reminder to everyone that this application just came through the door uh, a couple days ago, and so it's going to go through our standard process, which uh, you know takes a number of months. Um, so you know. And shovels in the ground uh, at this point are, are not imminent um, but like I say I'm really pleased with the fact that uh, Costco has found a site that they're willing to pursue and uh, all along I've stated that we'd like to keep Costco here in our community and uh, really happy that the hard work of our staff and the Costco officials has now um, brought us to this point. Open up a Costco and you get a lot of traffic are you anticipating that traffic flows through an already fairly congested area uh, might be a difficulty in getting this fully approved? Uh, you know what, too early to tell. Uh, I mean, that's why we have these uh, opportunities for public input. So we'll wait to hear what the community says um, and council will uh, take all of that information and ultimately make a decision. Are you getting much correspondence in the early moments on this at this stage? The only correspondence I've received is from local media. Uh, but I'm sure, and I think always as well, um, when it's good news, uh, you don't hear a lot. When it's bad news, like uh, maybe Costco is going to leave our community, then you get a lot of passion and a lot of feedback. So I suspect because this is good news, I, I, I don't think I'll hear a lot uh, from the general public. All right, well, we appreciate your time. Mayor Bazran. Thank you, Kent. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.